Match day one for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will make a statement in this, the opener? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start, so let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre-halves. So keep an eye out for that. The opposition starting 11. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And the contest begins. Pervis Estupinian. Preciado. Moises Caicedo. Could be troublesome. Superb block. They've regained possession. Preciado. Unable to keep the ball. Space afforded him. The cross is on, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Karim Budiaf. High quality defending. Preciado. Pervis Estupinian. A oh, terrific pass. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Angel Mena. Oh, he's lost possession.
Pedro Miguel. He has time to play it over. Oh, managing to beat him. Must be! And still danger here. Afif. That's a routine take. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Angel Mena. Moises Caicedo. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Pervis Estupinian. Moises Caicedo. This looks threatening. Well, it looked like a good ball, but cut out in the end. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Failed to keep hold of it. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And let's give credit to the defending. Fractionally offside. Well, he's given it away. Karim Budiaf. And unable to keep possession. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Gonzalo Plata. Moving into the advanced position. And he's through here. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Well, here's the replay. The little one-two starts everything off. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Al Rawi, Hassan Al Haidos. Now let's see what they can do here. Offside, a tight one. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Defensive X. 
excellence there. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. That is that for the first half here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So back underway here into the second half. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Now well, just the tackle that was needed. Caicedo. And now with Estupiñan. Angel Mena. This attack looks highly promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Caicedo. Surely! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Hatem. Not the pass he had in mind. Carlos Grueso. Oh, good vision. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Plata. Angel Mena. Gonzalo Plata. Takes the shot. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Let's see about the delivery. Well, he couldn't quite keep it down. Hassan. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Grueso. And Mena on the ball. Valencia. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, he may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. Abdel Karim Hassan. Akram Afif. 
Moving the ball forward with purpose. But quick thinking defensively. Plata. Arboleda. Did well to win the ball back. Almoez Ali. Hassan Alhaidos. And Mena on the ball. Grueso. Has a go. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Valencia. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Just 15 minutes remaining. Akram Afif. Oh, getting the ball forward. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Gonzalo Plata Arboleda Just 10 minutes to go Miguel Disappointing pass Angel Mena Grueso, Moises Caicedo. Top class defending. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close. Felix Torres. Referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Really well played pass. The high press was on and the chance is on. What a vital intervention. Erton Preciado. Can he finish them off? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. But <laughs> well, he's gone short with it. Piero in Capier. Torres. He's in behind the defence here. There it is. The final whistle. Disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat, Stuart. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he was a real handful today. He scored the winner and got himself into some great positions. He really did play well.